It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cards and the Browns coming up next. On a crystal clear late fall afternoon, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Cleveland, Ohio and Cleveland Brown Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here. That's going to be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Cleveland Browns. Brandon Gunn joined as always by my partner Charles Davis. Uh, Charles, these Browns, no other way to say it. They took a step back last year. Now, what do you think that they need to do to get back to the playoffs while competing in a tough AFC North? They need to get back to the identity that their head coach established a couple of seasons ago. A hard running game, consistent play from their quarterback, and then they have new management on the defensive side of the ball. They'll try and get after you in the pass rush. And for the visiting Cardinals, you know, this is a team in flux a little bit. J.J. Watt retired. There's a new coaching staff in place. They've got some work to do to turn around what was a 4-13 campaign in 2022. I remember this franchise won 11 games in 2021, but everything's new now. Head coach, the way they're going to run things on offense, style of play on defense, but sometimes that change can be really good. The kicker, Dustin Hopkins, set to get this one going. And off we go from Cleveland. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a seventh-year pro and a literal rocket scientist. Here's Joshua Dobbs. You want to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. Jordan Elliott never giving up. He works his way to the QB for a loss of 12. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? And they certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them, and that's why they get after them early. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Here's Dobbs to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. Taken right around the 44. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Browns have a short field in front of them now as they take over first and 10. And the Cleveland offense ready to go to work behind the three-time Pro Bowler Deshaun Watson in his second season now as a Brown, number 7 overall. Just six games played for Watson in his debut season with the Browns, which really limited how much he could step into the franchise quarterback role for the team. But he gets a full slate to do so this season. Remember, his last year in Houston, over 4,800 yards. They expect excellence from him. Six yards there on the keeper at second down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. On second down, here's Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. With a quick slam, good for eight and a first. Yeah. 
The handoff to Ford up the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. From the 24 now, here's second down and a yard. Again, they turn to Ford, and they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Here is third and five. Here's Watson. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Watson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Chris Barnes. And the Cardinals are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offensive move a little bit. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Here's second and ten. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. That'll give him eight that time. And now two yards to go on third down. try and run the option to pick it up and he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39 a really nice effort that time 12 yards on the keeper picking up the first one back in the backfield he'll get the carry and he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Now Dobbs. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. Here's Blake Gilligan now. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. 
A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. Now a second and two to throw is Watson. Right back to Cooper, and he got him again. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. A busy first quarter, his third catch of the afternoon is a first down. That connection seemed to work out okay on the first play of the drive. Why not go right back to it? And once again, this defense is left without an answer as they surrender back-to-back -back first downs. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Watson now to throw. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win but a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. Well, the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And they look to cash in. Excellent field position. Four-yard line, first and goal. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Back to the ground, this time with Ingram. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go -go situation, but my goodness. Think about running the ball here, not even a thought, yeah, is it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Miles Garrett coming in to drop it for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. On the return, here's Jerome Ford. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, <laughs> not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern a little bit. Whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here. It'll be a gain of five. 
And it'll be second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here, third and a yard. Back to throw, Watson. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. On fourth down, Corey Bajorquez gets set to punt for Cleveland. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Dobbs is throwing. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Brings up second and five at the 36-yard line. To throw is Dobbs. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. And it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Dobbs. They go screen. This is Ingram. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. First down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Now Dobbs. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Back to throw Dobbs. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. On second down, Ingram. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. On first down, Dobbs to throw. A short one here caught by McBride. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll make it second down. Second and six. 
at the Browns 27 yard line. Out of the gun, they give to Ingram. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. The Cardinals on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Here's Dobbs to throw. Based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. So on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here. He hit his first. Now this from 43. Prater's kick is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Prater now will send it away following the main field goal. And this taken in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Cleveland offense making their way out. They are still in search of their first points in the ball game, but only down 6-0 as they begin with a first down. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. To throw on second is Watson. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Every guy that plays this game has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well-being. He had no regard for his body on that catch at all, did he? <laughs> Middle of the field, diving to grab it? No, he didn't. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Watson. Sliding out of the... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Well, that was an interesting little chess match there because the offense went empty set. No running backs in the backfield. So they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. But guess what? The defense sees that. They go ahead and move, it, move themselves into a blitzing situation and come right after the quarterback. They had more guys there than they could block. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Third down and 10. Now Watson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 38-yard line. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. But there's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 38. They run with Ford, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Now a second and 10. This is Ford. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 
That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame, get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. They run with a veteran speedster. It's Kareem Hunt. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, little bit of power and you find a way to pick up first downs. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Watson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. And that could have been and probably should have been a third interception of this first half. He's got to figure out something because you cannot give the ball away like he's done and have any chance to win this game. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Watson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. Back to throw. Watson. And that's going to be caught for the Browns. Touchdown. Elijah Moore from a yard out. And the Browns are an extra point. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. He's got it, and they take the lead at 7-6. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was finished off by Elijah Moore on the touchdown reception. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away this fielded right at the goal line and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 the Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field they've been settling quite a bit they've been able to move the football some but they've just been settling that's one of the reasons they're down on the scoreboard I love that word you picked settling because nowadays into in this NFL you're thinking touchdown almost every drive because everything's so high power. Yeah, you'll take the field goal, but you always feel like you're leaving points out there when you don't put it in the end zone. They'll be trying to put it in the end zone here on this drive. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but eventually they'll be left with a third and two. Big boys down there in the trenches and a nice play to stop them. Pulled nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you're talking about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. They're not just big, they're immense. And what a big time play there. 
throwing here. Dobbs. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two. Just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands. And yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. First and ten, Dobbs. A short one here, caught by McBride. Here now, second and four. Out of the gun, Dobbs. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Dobbs. That's going to be knocked away and Complete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Blake Gilligan on to punt here as he'll send this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Looking for Cooper, that's complete. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Here's Watson. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Watson on first down. He's got the connection to Cooper. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Unbelievable. So the penalty declined, and they will keep the yardage on the completion. And you can almost see him compartmentalize there throughout the route. Fought hard at the line of scrimmage a lot. And now Watson throws another interception. Picked off by Chris Barnes. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. And now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. Well, the Cardinal offense is going to take over late in this first half. And now they start in plus territory following that turnover as they'll try to get some points here before halftime. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. Over the middle and into the hand of his receiver more. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now Dobbs. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. 
And it's going to bring up a third down. A great job defensively taking away his receivers. And he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie. But that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. A third field goal in the first half. Not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Here's Dobbs to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Dobbs is throwing. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. To throw is Dobbs. And now a fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Dobbs. That is caught. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Now Dobbs. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Second and 10. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Back to throw downs. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. Raiders kick is good and they jump back in front here it's nine to seven so the turnover leads to points as they add three there yeah what a sequence there and a nice one for them they force the interception put together a little drive and then come away with three points nothing to it partner just do it So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Sheds off the tackle. So we have reached halftime here in a tight two-point contest. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. 
Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, This has certainly been a yeah, fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, a we have not been disappointed. This, this is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. And here's Deshaun Watson and the Browns back to the field. And he's looking to take much better care of the football here in half two after three first half interceptions. We don't have to just look strictly at the numbers here. You know what else happens to a team when you turn it over three times like that? It erodes confidence in you and it erodes confidence in the offense. And now you have the defensive guys looking over and saying, what is going on here? And instead of playing for the team, they're playing angry and mad at their teammates. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Back to throw, Watson. He finds his man, complete. It's Ford. It'll go as a gain of four, and it brings up third and five now. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Watson now to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. But it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. Now this game it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And after the interception, they'll take over with good starting field position here. Down by two as they begin with a first and ten. On the ground, it's Ford. Down at the 25. This is second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Four. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. To throw is Watson. It's caught. Cooper. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. On first down, it's Ford. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. 
Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's to the right side and complete to Njoku. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. A few moving pieces on that play because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, sometimes the lineman can wander downfield. And if you're more than a yard downfield... hands fast into the receiver's hands even faster now it's Hopkins to add the extra point and the lead is up to five that time a six play drive and it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. More now on the return. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And he's got his man in strike. And a loose football. Is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home, the next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover. So they recover their own fumble. Now they face third and short. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. The linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa, on the tackle. From the 38 now, here's second down and five. Here's Dobbs to throw. Quick slant to Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 49-yard line. On play action, it's Dobbs. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Up the middle, Ingram. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards. 
avenge the loss, and now third and 12. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Looking to throw. Dobbs. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And the Browns getting set to go. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Up the middle they go. Four. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Here's third and seven. Faking the give. Now Watson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll go as a sack, a loss of three, and in turn, it takes us to a fourth down. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. And I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive, so either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And the Cards will take over first and ten. On first down, Dobbs to throw. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing here, Dobbs. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. On first and 10, Dobbs. Is incomplete zone coverage there and they were playing deep that makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys and that time there's not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten back to throw Dobbs, a short one here, caught by McBride. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 30. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. 
Out of the gun, Dobbs. He's in the space past the 25, and he's finally down at the 21-yard line. A coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Hands it off out of the gun. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Third quarter action. Appreciate you joining us from Cleveland, Ohio. Second and ten. Looking to throw. Dobbs. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. Miles Garrett. Who else? He's in there for his fourth. Sack of the afternoon. But tell the statistician add another one to their impressive total today. Great week for the defensive front. A tough one for that offensive line. Quarterback getting right back behind that line, hoping for more time to attempt a likely third down pass. Third and 19. Back to throw. Dobbs. speed unable to find an open hole to complete that pass so on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here this one from 46 yards out and the 39 year old veteran puts it right through and that will cut the lead down to just two it can be a thankless job sometimes to be a kicker, but they're thanking him right now. That's now four field goals. He's kept him in the game. He sure has, and that offense has got to find its rhythm because I'm not sure that just kicking field goals is going to allow them to win this game. now will send it away following the main field goal. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and ten upcoming. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And he's brought down. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On first and 10, Watson. To the right side, and he's got more complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Now a give right side. It's four. And he'll go down at the 28. Now what a first down pickup of eight. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. 
They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Now a first down throw, Watson. Over the middle, complete. That's four. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. And that's going to be caught from Browns. Touchdown. Finishes it off with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. The return, Rondale Moore will bring it out. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. The drive will start with an option going left. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The keeper there turning into a big play of 23 yards, and it moves the sticks. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. On the tackle that time, Shelby Harris. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did. And remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And they're going to have a third down. Operating from the gun, Dobbs. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Now, you know I don't often have sympathy for quarterbacks, but in this situation, I don't know what else he could do. Fourth down, so he can't just throw the ball away. He's got to find a way to try and make a play, but the pressure ended up getting to him. Pressure got to him. Really big sack and a turnover here on downs. They'll run on first down. Four. 
And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 43. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Here's Watson. A quick throw there is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The offense on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This will be third and five. They'll try the left side. It's four, and he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. the made field goal for three Hopkins now to kick it off a solid return pretty good field position they'll start at the 32 the Cardinal offense here ready to take over and last time they were stopped on fourth down had a drive stalled out we'll see how they respond this go around I'm eager to see what their mindset is because Moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down. Do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us? Or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense, a little more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making them punt, that's your goal anyway. But a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Off the play fake. Here's Dobbs. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it. It well, didn't work out. Had, they must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play. And they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, they must have felt like they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, let's face it. That's just a help of feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. 
Here's Watson. That's complete to Peoples Jones. It'll be a gain of five. And now third down and six to go. Now a handoff up the middle. Four. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Well, forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. And if you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. And I am not sure, partner, there what the mindset was to go for it. I don't know. And some teams just feel that possession is the key to everything. They just want to have the football in their hands. No matter how it goes to the other team, they just don't trust doing that. So they say, let's uh, go for it and try and finish it ourselves. Dobbs throw here, gonna be caught by Wilson. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. A good start there on first down. They've gotta have this drive. No doubt about it, down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett in there to get him again. That is sack number six. One off the NFL record of seven. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Dobbs now on second down. Under pressure, they got him again. Miles Garrett in there for the seventh time in this game alone, and that ties him with a late Derek Thomas for the most sacks ever in a single game. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them? That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, that's where this Cleveland crowd, the dog pound in particular, make it difficult on opposing offenses. It looked like they might have had troubles communicating at the line, and it leads to the incompletion. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Dobbs. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. A gutsy decision there at this stage in the second half in their own territory, and a decision that they might regret. Can't wait for the post-mortem. You know, this post-game press conference, because the questions are going to come fast and furious about this decision, no matter how the, how the game turns out, right? What were you thinking there? Why? Did you have a certain play call? Did, were you comp in your defense? Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> it's yeah. going to keep coming up. Yeah, no matter the scoreboard, just tough to justify. Decent start defensively to this series. They've got to stop them here and get this ball back. I like the way you phrase that, partner. Decent start. But now it's got to be more about the ball. It's all about the ball. Getting it away from them because making good tackles is one thing, but the clock will run out on you. You've got to have the football back for your offense. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line.
Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. the made field goal for three Hopkins now to kick it off. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. All eyes on the Cardinals now. Down by 15. A little under a minute 50 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Dobbs. Gets this to Moore, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Now Dobbs. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. The dog pound barking as loud as they can here. Third down. Dobbs. He's got McBride, and he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. A two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. They'll try again here, second and 10. Here's Dobbs to throw. That's out to the flat for Ingram. Now the card's gonna call another timeout, their second, as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Work to do here with a crowd at fever pitch. Third and nine. On play action, it's Dobbs. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. This is first and ten. To throw is Dobbs. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Oh, yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and ten now. Here's Dobbs to throw. He's got this downfield to McBride. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, 
and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Out of the gun, Dobbs. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Second down, goal to go. Dobbs is throwing. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. And now defensively in the two-minute drill, the big key to me, make sure you understand your assignments, and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds, get them on the ground. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Throwing here, Dobbs. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Boy, this crowd is on pins and needles now because anytime you see the ball heading for the end zone, you really hold your breath, and they come out of their seats. That one falls incomplete. On fourth down, Dobbs. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And a little bit of a surprise, they lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ballgame. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ballgames. So when you get something that goes against the grain, like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off.